Hi everybody, Joey here again and welcome back. So today, I'm going to show you guys how to build a large aquarium. So before we get started with the actual build, I know a lot of you guys are asking yourselves, what size aquarium is that? Well, I got in the tank just to give you a size reference. This is a 540 gallon aquarium. It measures 6 feet wide, 6 feet long. It's a square aquarium. The panels are 2 feet high. So it holds 540 gallons or over 2,000 liters of water. Another quick question. What is it built out of? Well, the panels are glass. The bottom is made of plywood. This is a very unique build for me. I've never built an aquarium made out of four glass panels with no plywood support and a plywood bottom. I'm taking a lot of the methods that I've shown you guys on how to build a plywood aquarium and applying it here. In the long run, I saved myself a lot of money with the glass that I used and where I got it. You guys will find out later on in the series. As well as the actual plywood bottom and what I used to waterproof the actual plywood. What I used is my favorite part, and you guys will see that again later on in the series. Would you believe that it cost me less than $800 to build this aquarium? That's, that's including the, the everything you see here, including the stand. Sounds like a lot of money, but I'm getting an awful lot of aquarium out of $800. Now, this is a very unique build, based on the fact that it's not really a plywood aquarium, but it's not really a glass aquarium. You guys are probably wondering why I did it this way, and that's exactly what we're going to go over in this video. I'm going to tell you what led up to building it like this and the decisions I had to make to, that led me to those decisions. Now, in this series, it's going to be a six-part series. In the first video, we're going to talk about the actual aquarium a little bit and what led up to it. Second video, we're going to go ahead and build the stand as well as the lights. Third video, we're going to build the base of the aquarium and how I went about doing that, which is actually my favorite part to this video, to this entire series. You guys will see why later on. In the fourth part of this series, we're going to go ahead and install the glass panels. I'm going to show you where I got the glass, how I got it, and uh, how I saved a ton of money. In the fifth part, we're going to go ahead and build the filtration to this aquarium. 540 gallon aquarium, so I'm going to need some heavy duty filtration. We're also going to cover the plumbing. In the in the sixth uh, part of the video series, we're going to go ahead and do a recap. We're going to go over everything again, probably cover some costs and that sort of thing. Now, this build is not going to be something to follow in terms of what you should be building, but its main purpose is to give you some ideas and inspire you to build your own. What I mean by that is, you might not want to build what I just built, but you might want to use the stand idea. You might want to use what I use to uh, waterproof the actual plywood, which I highly recommend. You'll see why. Or you might even want to use the idea of what I did in, to get the glass. Or bits and parts of it. You might even be waiting for the filtration to get some ideas there, or some plumbing, etc. Nonetheless, this series isn't necessarily how to build a large aquarium in terms of what you should do exactly, but it is how to build an aquarium in terms of some ideas you can use. Now as always, we're going to make sure that we keep this build very simple and easy to do, as well as cost effective. And if you guys haven't noticed the pattern, that's how I like to do all my builds. So, let's get started with first discussing and going over what led up to building this style of aquarium. Keep in mind, I'm still actually in the process of building this. Of course, by the time you see this video, it would be complete, but what you see now is not uh, the completed aquarium. Again, let's go ahead and discuss what led up to this tank. So, coming to a decision on what I'm going to build the aquarium out of, placement, etc., there was a number of things to consider. First and foremost, where am I going to put it in my house? I obviously wanted an aquarium that was several hundred gallons, so there's not a whole lot of room in my upstairs for an aquarium that size, not to mention my floors couldn't withstand it unless I reinforced them. I wasn't really looking to do that. Number one factor there was space. Now obviously I have a finished basement, so that was the number one spot where this aquarium was going to go. I have a cement floor that can withstand almost any weight I put on it, so it's a no-brainer. 
the tanks going in the basement. Second thing I need to consider was what I'm going to build it out of. Well, there's a number of things that I that come to mind, but the number one thing I had to consider that was very important was what if I ever have to move the aquarium or what if I ever have to what if I ever sell this house? I have to get the aquarium out of here, and I didn't want to have to destroy it to do that. So acrylic was basically out of the question. Reason being is because once you put an aquarium, uh, an acrylic aquarium together, the panels fuse, and there's no way to get it apart unless you're willing to chop it up. No, I wasn't looking to get into that. So acrylic aquariums were out of the question. That le that left me with a few more options. I was thinking about building a cement aquarium. That's more of a permanent fixture, and it's, believe it or not, going to drop the value of my home, so I wasn't going to get into that either. So I'm left with a plywood aquarium or a glass aquarium. I didn't really want to go with a plywood aquarium, a full plywood aquarium, for the same reason I didn't want to go with an acrylic aquarium. I'd have to take it apart to get it outside again. Now, why would I have to take it apart when I could just take it up the stairs? Well. The stairs, uh, the stairs are pretty narrow, and the height is only going to allow for a four foot wide aquarium on its side to go through, or three feet wide, and I was going to build an aquarium bigger than that. Not to mention the length is going to hit this wall and not be able to turn, etc, etc, unless I start chopping walls apart, which I wasn't looking to do either. So I'm left with needing to put a, build an aquarium that I can actually take apart if I ever need to. Chances are I probably won't, but the possibility could be there that I might have to. So I kept coming back to a glass aquarium. A glass aquarium, you can take it apart. The only thing is, I can get the, the front and the side panels off and the back panel, but I can't get the bottom piece off because it's a one piece sheet of glass. So what I decided to do was go with a plywood bottom. The plywood bottom is going to be an economical choice in case it doesn't fit up the stairs. I can always cut it in half and build it again you'll see in the video how much it's going to actually cost for me to build the plywood bottom and it's something that can be disposable I can build it again if I ever need to. So I was going to go with a glass aquarium with a plywood bottom. Now where to put it? I actually have a spare room to my right here not being used. Perfect spot for an aquarium. First and foremost though I had to go ahead and rip up the carpet, because it had a carpeted floor. It's the only carpet in the house, so I didn't mind ripping it up. It had to go. Underneath is just bare cement, which is perfect, because I wasn't going to go ahead and, you know, put any floors down. What I intended to do was put an epoxy coating over the floor. And that's essentially what I did, was I put a, an epoxy paint on the floor. It makes it uh, very, very resilient. It's going to be chip resistant as well as water resistant, and waterproof, really. So if I get any water on the floor, it's not a problem. So let's take a look at the actual room that it's going in so you guys can get a real feel for where this aquarium is going and the, the entire room is going to be dedicated just to this, this aquarium. So there you have it. We now know why I had to come to the decision of building a plywood and glass aquarium with mainly glass, and we know where it's going. We also know some limiting factors. If I ever have to move it, I have to take it apart. So that's the first video. I hope you guys enjoyed it thus far. I want to thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.